interrupt this program of national music to bring you an urgent message from our heroic chief of police. <clears throat> people of the left, people of the right, people of the center, citizens. I speak to you today, yes I speak to you today as a father. I call to you out of a profoundly troubled heart. Attempts have been made to kill me. They have failed. They will always fail. For even if they succeed, they fail. For if I die, order must be restored. Traffic must flow. Jaywalking must be crushed. But calm your fears, my dear people. I live. The queen lives. Authority lives. Our nation lives. Our civilization is therefore invulnerable. Its enemies will wither away like a weed withers in the sun. And how could it be otherwise? This nation, this holy nation, this national heritage, this nation of saints and generals. This nation of folkloric heroes and gigantic agronomists. This national nation. This nation composed equally of minerals and miracles. Where the dark intuition Indianism mingles with the geometry of Aristotle. This nation of yours, this nation of mine, of grandmothers and grandchildren, kneeling before our national shrine, this national soil, virgin and prolific, fertilized daily by the heroic manure of our national cattle, I say to you, our nation. Is it conceivable to you, as it is certainly not to me, this nation can be anything else but eternal. Who dares spit at it? Who dares to soil the purity of this nation, which is of itself a monument to all other nations? Only a dwarf named Roger. 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 Roger is a fiction. If he exists at all, which I doubt, this unreal person, according to my infallible records, was knifed and killed by a fellow convict while serving a term for sex offenses, the obscenity of which I cannot read to you in the midst of this family setting. Roger, dead or alive, is a liar, a liar. The general, whom he claims to have beheaded, will tour the city and the, the, the distinguished chief justice of the Supreme Court, supposedly dead of fright, will ride with the general. The bishop, who many people have accused me of shooting for treason, will ride with the general and the judge. Now, I warn you to evacuate the northern section of the city, which is now occupied by the so-called rebels and used as their so-called headquarters. 
I have ordered the entire district blown up by high explosives. You have three minutes, a total of 180 seconds, at which point, Roger, if he exists at all, he'll be blown to bits. The rebellion will be over. Long live the Queen. Long live the true, the authentic revolution. Long live your chief of police.